Okay, so now it's <clears throat> 5.20. It's been three hours. We started at 2.20. So three hours, we're keeping the uh, current limited to 5.1. And uh, let's go ahead and see how the PPM is doing. And we're at 17, 16, 17. Can you see that? There's 16. So we'll continue. That's all there is to it. Just leave it like that. We'll come back in an hour. Okay. This is, uh, we started at 2.40, it's now 6.40. This is after four hours. So we've kept our constant current, uh, 5.1, 5 5.2, in between there. If we wanted to come down now, we just turn our current down, say we want 4.3, and it will stay, remain at 4.3, and it won't go higher. You want to really get super fine then bring it down to three I don't know if you can see that three can you see that three point six or two point nine or two point four or one point seven or One point zero. Now a lot of people will tell you, yeah, you got to make colloidal silver with one point zero, but they don't have magnetic stirs, they don't have reverse polarity, and the whole idea is to get the ions off the rods into solution so they don't stay on the rods and aggregate. When you get aggregation, you get large particles. By keeping it stirred, by keeping it uh, reverse polarity cycle, then uh, you avoid that problem. That's why they can have uh, high voltage AC current because the, the polarity reverses uh, every 60, uh, 60 times a second. So they throw a ton of, of uh, current on it. So, and the same thing here. We could go all the way up. Now you're, you're looking at 9.4, but we don't, we don't want to go that high. If you do go real high, then you, then you, hey, hey, I know my dog's messing around. You can uh, uh, decrease your your reverse polarity speed and increase your your stirring. So I think that's about it. Let's check. Uh, let's bring it down back down to five. Let's bring it back down to five. Oops. Pretty sensitive toward the top end. So you have to make real minuscule movements on the dial. Okay. So there's our 5.0. And we've got our, our uh, reverse polarity uh, increased to about 10 seconds. I think let's let's take a look. Wait for it. Okay, there. We're at four seconds before the hour or whatever. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So that's a little too high. I mean, a little too long. So let's decrease that. Let's try it now. <clears throat> wait for the, we'll wait to time it for the light to come on. We're at 34 seconds. Five, six.
13, 14, uh, 13 or 14 seconds. So that's that's the ticket. That's the way to make it fast but good. So in four hours, let's let's check our uh, PPM. Notice there's no conductivity whatsoever. You also get a little black on there. That don't scrape off the. Uh, don't use the copper pad that's included <clears throat> to clean these until you're at, until you're done. You don't want to contaminate. You never touch the rods after it's after your generation started. You never touch the water. So let's go ahead and measure, and we are at 21 parts per million, and that's with a TDS meter. So we're probably looking at about 30 or 30, 32, 33 with a TDS. Oh yeah, I was going to show that. Um, see the difference between uh, the TDS meter, <coughs> which shows 21, and let's measure it now with the uh, HANA, more accurate. It's nice, as you can see, this makes perfectly clear colloidal silver. Really beautiful. Good, tin great Tyndall effect. Beautiful. No large particles. Like silky smooth. Beautiful, beautiful batch here. Okay, let's go ahead and <coughs> we'll stop the process. Take out our silver rods. We're going to decant this in so I can get this large. I need to put it in a larger container. Well, we hope we don't get our magnetic stir, stir bar in there. Okay. Now we'll measure it with the Hanna meter. Can you see this? And now we'll measure it with the HANA, we have zero baseline, and we'll go up, oh my goodness, 50, 50 parts per million. Can you see that? I don't know how to lock this. Can I lock it? Get it in there deeper. Might come down a little bit. Up. There's 39, 38, 39. So there's 38, 39, 37. Ah, uh, let's see. Can I zoom in anymore? I hope you can see that. It's kind of the light is blurring it a little bit. Maybe I can turn this like this. Anyways, there's 39 right there as compared to 21. Matter of fact, we'll put them both in at the same time. Oops. Turn this one on too. Okay. Now they're both in. <clears throat> that one says 18. That one says 38. 18 or 19. That one says 38. 37, 38. So you can see the difference. Uh, nothing wrong with the TDS meter. Just remember that when you make 20 parts per million with this, you're going to be making in actuality a, a lot more. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. If you have any questions, you can email me at dj123456 at charter.net or uh, if you want more information, uh, on the eBay uh, to purchase one of these, and also I have other. I have other. Uh, this is the heart and guts of the the colloidal silver. This is the uh, reverse polarity and constant current. You won't. This doesn't have, of course, the magnetic stir, but this one is is a completely complete kit. Comes with the seven inch, uh, two seven inch, uh, fourteen gauge. Uh, 9999 silver rods, your flask, your stopper, your magnetic 
uh, your your all your connections, everything you're going to need. An 18 volt, an 18 volt uh, power supply, and TDS meter, and the laser. This is a five uh, milli, uh, nanowatt, uh, 650 nanometer milliwatt, or, or 650 and uh, 650. Um, Manawatt or something like that. I can't remember. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, good health to you. Dean signing off.